In the quiet village of Siyama, nestled amid the rolling hills of Japan, there lived a Zen master named Tanzan. He was known throughout the region for his wisdom, his compassionate heart, and his unwavering dedication to the path of enlightenment. As Tanzan approached the twilight of his life, he felt a profound sense of peace and clarity. The years of meditation and introspection had brought him to a place of deep understanding, and he knew that his time in this world was drawing to a close. One warm summer morning, with the sun painting the sky in hues of orange and pink Tanzan arose from his simple mat, his frail body moving with a grace that belied his age. He knew that the moment had come to bid farewell to this world, and he wished to leave behind a final message a message that would transcend the boundaries of life and death. With a sense of purpose, Tanzan gathered 60 postal cards and carefully inscribed each one with his own hand. On these cards, he conveyed a message that was both profound and simple, a testament to the essence of his teachings. I am departing from this world, he wrote on each card, the ink flowing from his brush with the precision of a lifetime of practice. This is my last announcement. Tanzan's message was clear and unadorned, a reflection of his understanding that the truest wisdom often resided in the simplest of truths. He dated each card with the date that would forever be etched in the annals of history July 27, 1892. Once Tanzan had completed his task, he summoned an attendant, a disciple who had been by his side throughout his journey. With a heart full of gratitude, Tanzan handed the stack of cards to the young man and said, It is time, my friend. These cards carry my final message to the world. I entrust them to you to be mailed. The attendant, his eyes glistening with tears, nodded in understanding. He knew the significance of this task, and he accepted it with the utmost reverence. As Tanzan's frail body rested on his mat, he closed his eyes, his breathing steady and calm. The room was filled with a profound stillness, and the world outside seemed to hold its breath in anticipation. Hours passed, and as the sun cast long shadows across the room, Tanzan's breathing grew more and more shallow. The disciple, sitting vigil by his side, felt a profound sense of both loss and serenity. He knew that Tanzan was departing from this world, but he also sensed the enduring presence of his master's wisdom and compassion. At the exact moment when the sun dipped below the horizon and darkness enveloped the room, Tanzan's last breath left his body, like a gentle sigh. His journey in this world had come to an end. The following morning, the disciple, still holding Tanzan's final message in his trembling hands, set out on a journey of his own. He carried with him the stack of postal cards, each one bearing the weight of Tanzan's profound announcement. As he walked through the village, he encountered curious onlookers who had heard of Tanzan's passing. They offered their condolences and paid their respects to the master who had touched so many lives. Finally, the disciple reached the village post office. He approached the postal worker, a kind and understanding man who had known Tanzan well. I have a special task to fulfill, the disciple explained, I must mail these cards on behalf of our beloved master, Tanzan. The postal worker nodded in acknowledgement and carefully processed each card, ensuring that Tanzan's final message would reach its intended recipients. As the cards began their journey into the world, they carried with them the profound simplicity of Tanzan's wisdom. The message, I am departing from this world, this is my last announcement, transcended the boundaries of time and place. In the years that followed, Tanzan's final message became a source of inspiration and contemplation for countless individuals who encountered his teachings. It served as a reminder that life is fleeting, and that the truest wisdom often lies in the simplicity of our existence. The memory of Tanzan lived on in the hearts and minds of those who had known him, and his legacy continued to touch the lives of those who encountered his final message. It was a testament to the enduring power of a life dedicated to wisdom, compassion, and the pursuit of enlightenment. And so, in the quiet village of Siyama and beyond, Tanzan's teachings and his final message continued to echo through the ages, reminding all who encountered them of the timeless truths that transcended the boundaries of life and death.